Good morning and welcome to the Proactive Studio. I'm Jonathan Jackson and joining me all the way from the US is Imogen CEO, Leslie Chong. Leslie, good morning. Hi, Jonathan. Now, let's start with the, the Biotrack Cancer Expansion Study. Uh, you've announced that this morning. What's the study for and, and what are you trying to achieve? Absolutely. So I'm thrilled to announce that we have cleared cohort five. So that gets us a higher dose than the two biliary tract cancer type that we've seen, one in a complete response, the other one in stable disease. We are going to start what's called an expansion off of our phase one. And it just is timely that we have this expansion because just next week, we have a presentation as well as a poster presentation at um, Colangio Cancer Foundation, which is all about biliary tract cancers. And so I anticipate that the study will enroll quite rapidly. And, for, and when we find the 10 patients, it is to, to look at or confirm our strong signal in biliary tract cancers. And that will get us faster into a phase two confirmation study. And just to clarify, Leslie, uh, the clearance is the clearance of the mass trial high dose cohort. That's absolutely correct. Uh, we have, it's the cohort five and it's 10 to the eighth. And so that dose is higher than any other dose that we have interrogated. And again, higher than the doses that we've seen with the other complete response and bile tract cancer. So um, we anticipate that that's going to be a beautiful dose for us to move into that biliary tract cancer types. And Leslie, talk me through the, the conference that's coming up. Uh, what what, what uh, will you be uh, uh, explaining there? Yes, absolutely. So we've already showcased our mass study and our data to date or data cut off um, as of 20, at the end of 2023, because the submission for AACR, which is the American Association of, Association of Cancer Research that we um, had submitted, that was back in 2023, we were admitted. And uh, so we were able to showcase the data that we've already released, which was great. Our poster and presentation had consistent people in front of it for four hours straight. So that's ACR in San Diego. And that's one of the reasons why I was here uh, in the US. And then uh, our um, cohort review committee had cleared the cohort five and we, we were anticipating this dose so that we could start the expansion. And it's just perfect timing because then we go to the biliary tract cancer foundation meeting next week. And we'll be talking to the patient advocacy as well as the uh, the conference um, organizers about the expansion and what's next. So, Leslie, you've got the conference coming up next week, but you've also been showcasing around the U.S. Uh, vaccinia. Can you give us the key messages that uh, that you've been putting forward to to the conferences? Absolutely. So this this is data uh, from. 2023, at the end of 2023. So phase one studies are generally specifically around dose escalation. And sometimes if you see a signal, um, you might uh, announce that or uh, have conference presentations at the end of phase one. But we were delighted to have early data at even at an earlier um, um, cohort of dose uh, escalation. So we're currently, you know, now at cohort Five, which is one of our higher doses, we were extremely proud to showcase the mass study at the American Association of Cancer Research uh, just recently at in San Diego. And we are extremely proud to be featured at the Colangio Cancer Foundation, the Biliary Tract uh, Cancer Foundation on our experience expansion. We will be speaking with the patient advocacy group um, as we have with the Australian um, version of that, uh, as well as the Canadian Colangio. So I anticipate that that study will enroll quite swiftly and that we'll be able to evaluate the data. And with that strong signal, um, hopefully we can go into a phase two. Leslie, good luck with the rest of the trip. Thank you.